Hey there, it's BitBee, and welcome out to another BitBee stream. Am I a little bit quiet for anybody? Give me a second. Maybe I'm just quiet to myself. Here. I don't know, just in comparison with the, uh, the thing, it just seems kind of quiet. Ah, hello. Fluffy says I'm good to them. But again, I just, I, I feel like I'm a little bit, uh... Ah, uh, gotta love technical issues. Let's see. I hope you guys are doing pretty good tonight. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more Spyro. Been a while since I've dived into Spyro, so let's tell Rusty. Dragon says I'm fine. I don't know. It's just like there's something about the uh, the sound of like my, my preview audio. For some reason, I am really quiet. I was expected to be, like, for my ears to be blasted with my own voice for a second, and it was, like, very, very quiet. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. Actually, let me check and see what the uh, the music is set to, because maybe that's the problem. No, the music is set at the right place. Wait, what the f Okay, give me a moment. Um, let's go ahead and head into the game and see whether or not maybe I'm just an insane lunatic. I mean, that's already the case, but... Is it my own audio that's low? I don't freaking know. Uh, let's just move over here. Do -do -do. Okay, come on. Wait, why does it say smile for me? Why am I in smile for me? <laughs> Damn it. Hold on a moment. Yeah, you gotta love technical issues. Maybe that's why. Holy shit. <laughs> we're back in the habitat. No, we're not. We are not back in the habitat. I promise you we are not. Smile for us, bit. Smile for us. That might explain why I was so quiet. Maybe I had some, um, some audio settings, like, strange. Okie dokie. Let me raise this up a tad bit. Um... No, it, it it seems fine to me, I guess. All right, ne never mind. I, I guess I'm being a warty wart. Um, so I've already gotten. Oh god, I've gotten everything here. So I guess now it's time to go into uh, ow, certain locations. Boot. There we go. Fluffy the squirrel. Oh, gee, Fluffy, you're giving so many like. Ah, gift subs to people. Thank you very much. Send a gift sub to Fluffy's boyo. Thanks you. But seriously, like, you could spend your money on other stuff. For example, pancakes. Pancakes are amazing. Oh, dear God. Okay. So, apparently, if I ever want to fix this... I, I can't fix this situation permanently, and I have to, like, go over there and, like, hit that guy every single time I want to take everybody out here. That's nice. Hmm. But for some reason, he wasn't trying to defend them. Very well, then. Okay. Okay, so what worlds do we currently have open and that I can take a look at here? Uh, the Dark Passage. Fluffy, no. For God's sake. Once I have the money, I'm buying everyone in the stream a sub. I'm going to make the assumption that you mean everybody who is a regular. Because if you're telling the truth, then you're going to be giving a sub to 309 followers. And if you ever do that, please, mm -mm, no. Probably best to do the flight stage. Where the heck's the flight stage? <laughs> Should we just, like, get the really bad one out of the way first? I feel like the flight stage is going to be obnoxious to saw balls. Where's that at? Everyone who you see watching it. Oh, well. That's less bad. Um, Icy flight. Oh, there we go. That's the, that's the ticket. That's the deal. Hey, bastard. Hmm. 
Give me a moment. Okay, not the right one. Here. The timing on this is not perfect. Yay! Got it. I cheated the deal. Self-indulging with Animal Crossing. Ooh, nice. Hello, Mapley. How you doing? Sorry you have not been watching the stream. Don't be sorry. Enjoy your life. Nobody is required to be here. Been a bit sick over the weekend, but I should be better by tomorrow. Oh, God. I was not paying attention. <laughs> How could we enjoy our life with if we miss you? I don't know. Watch a VOD. Do, do, do anything. Mm. No, excuse me. I worked out today, so I, um, I earned one entire gigantic cinnamon Coke can. And by gigantic, I mean regular can. Okay. The beacons are lit! Oh, no, they're not. I hope whatever you're sick with isn't too obnoxious. I know that right now, uh, there's a thing going around my area that's just like, it's the common cold. I screwed up. Drown. And I don't know, I've noticed that I've been a tad bit more sniffly lately, so I, uh, maybe I have it. I just hope it doesn't mutate into something even worse. Like, ah, oh God. I'm so sick and tired of being sick. Um. Did I miss one? Give me a moment. That's what we should get for Bit for his birthday. We should all find a seller on Amazon and pool our money to buy him, like, a year's supply of cinnamon. Do you want me to gain all that weight back? Because that's how you do it. I'm going to be honest, though. Um, I was recently at the store, and I noticed that they had a whole bunch of, like, cinnamon coke on the end cap. And I'm worried because that sort of indicates to me that they're thinking about, like, getting rid of their stock. Just the common cold. Also hope I get better as well. I'm, I'm, I'm okay for the most part. Like, the only thing that I really have to deal with is that I wake up and I'm a little bit snifflier. Like, that's about it. Light the boy. Boy, like, the, the lantern layout here is complete shit. Okay. Bombs! Um, if I want to do this effectively, I should probably go the opposite direction of the trains. Uh, but anyway, no, because of the fact that I noticed that, um, they were trying- Like, they are probably attempting to try and get rid of their stock. I decided that I was going to pick up another, uh, two 12-pack cases, so... The addiction is real. I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, no! Son of a... Screw it. It's why I want to get you a supply. Here's the thing. Whatever supply I get, it's not like soda never expires. So... Very likely, like, if I get too big of a supply, I'm just gonna end up with a whole bunch of, like, expired cinnamon coke in the future. And, you know, that's not gonna be healthy for me. Because I'm gonna be tempted to drink it, regardless of whether or not it's expired. It expires? All soft drinks expire. I'm sorry. Where have you been? Oh, uh, balls. Going for a swim. So why is Spyro so, like, not adept at water? Like... Is he the equivalent of, like, a Charmander? 
does his tail like dissolve and have them die like or something i don't even Oh, Paul, Dan! You know what, man? That is such a colossal failure, I should probably just stop now. He swims in two. Okay, good. They go flat after, like, six or nine months after the expiration date. Yeah, like, soda isn't, you know, it's not like eating a steak that's been expired for a really long time. Like, you're, you're gonna be fine, it's just that you probably shouldn't be putting it in your stomach. Like, that kind of thing. And on top of that... The soda just isn't going to taste as good anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, no, I remember watching a dude, like, a long time ago. And he, he had this show where he just tried a whole bunch of, like, random stuff that he managed to find. Dragon Lad needs floaties, says Jim's dead bones. He certainly does. But no, that was literally his thing. He just tried a whole bunch of stuff. And every once in a while, he would end up getting some sort of expired food. And he'd eat it. Now, whether or not he actually kept it down is an entire other thing. You know. Damn it. Sometimes he would just, like, he would put it in his mouth, swish it around in his mouth, and then spit it. And then afterwards, immediately go brush his teeth. Okay, give me a second. There we go. <laughs> That's actually a really good technique. Just hit the damn thing. But that actually kind of saves you a little bit of time. All right, all right. Full focus mode. Guys, I legit cannot find a place to order cinnamon coke. Not surprised. Here's the thing. Now that Cinnamon Coke is, like, an expired product, or, like, you know, technically, very soon, like, the limited edition thing is going to catch up to it eventually. It's going to get stupidly expensive. And therein lies your problem. That isn't something that you really should be putting, like, any extra money or effort into. Damn it. Hark, hark. Okay, not good. All right, what are the other things that I need to be getting? Because I got all three of those. Now what? Now what the hell? Amazon, you have failed me. Oh, the chests. Shoot. Okay, well, let's keep that in mind and attempt this again. I almost got it. No, I think a big reason why I have, like, this this weird kick for weird sodas is just the fact that, um... Yeah, I watched that show, and, like, it, it's just, like, the strangest freaking things. And I learned about some of the weirdest, like... There's a lot of independent soda that... The only way that you can really sell a product is to have some sort of a gimmicky thing to it. I think that's one of the reasons why I found out about Jones Soda. Because if you didn't know, Jones Soda, uh, at least for a couple of Thanksgivings here and there, they sold a Thanksgiving bundle of sodas that tasted like Thanksgiving ingredients. So, you know, they had a cranberry soda, which, all right, that sounds perfectly reasonable. But then you waded into the mashed potatoes. And then you waded into the Christmas turkey kind of thing. Or, you know, the Thanksgiving turkey. And then you start to raise an eyebrow, like, uh, hmm. Maybe this was a bad idea. I think one of them was green bean casserole. Again, why you would make this in soda form, I don't know. But apparently they felt it was necessary. Cursed sodas. Yes, exactly. And I'm not going to lie. If I were in a situation where I was given an opportunity to try it, I might. 
Okay, now I believe the lanterns were back this way. Am I right? Yes! Okay, chests. Oh shit. Do I have time? Son of a bitch! Okay. Try everything at once. I think they actually did that. They took all the sodas and they put it into one, like, monstrous soda. Basically a death-causing soda that would just destroy someone's insides. Yeah, they did that. And they collectively said, it tasted like garbage. Ultimate juice. More like ultimate stomach ulcer. I put my body through the paces and I've done so many random things, but I certainly would not attempt to try and drink all Thanksgiving sodas at once. Can you imagine like carbonated turkey? Just swirl that concept around in your head for a moment. Try everything at least once. <laughs> Dragon says, ew, good. It seems your taste buds are still effective. Okay. Oh dear. Give you good shit. There may be a limit to my statement. I do not think I'ma try everything. Ketchup soda? You know you joke that. But someone has probably done it. Matter of fact, can can somebody go get on the Google? Go talk to the Google lady. See if they got some ketchup soda. Oh, whoopsies. Sorry, I was not paying attention. Evbay said, I was talking with someone and all I heard was carbonated turkey. <laughs> it's real. Or, you know, it was. I don't know if Jones Soda still makes that, uh, that soda around, like, Thanksgiving. They shouldn't. Because I feel there isn't a market for it. Yeah, you could strategically just bonk into things and, uh, change the angle of your attack here. Also, I'm really weirded out that those barrels, like, I set them on fire and somehow I don't get hurt. Peanut butter and jelly, so I, you know, oddly enough, something about that sounds very familiar to me. Never tried it, but I feel like I have definitely heard about it and seen someone, like, maybe drink it. Speaking of which, I haven't seen that show in for a very long time, so I should check in. It's one of those YouTube channels that I've known forever, and uh, at the end of the day, like, I don't, I don't watch them too often, but when I do, I tend to, like, binge everything that they got. You know what I mean? Oh, jeez. Streamlabs, what are you, what are you whining about? Okay, let's be good. Okay, chest. Oh, God. Uh, the problem with this is that, yeah, I got all the chests, but Bitby Streams doesn't like Discord links. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you take that link? Um, let me see. Yeah. Puffy's Boyo, we're, like, that was the, so, can you take that link and can you, uh, send me a DM of it? Because I, I need to take that and I need to clear it in... Uh, Streamlabs so that it doesn't flag for anyone else. Do the chest and the lice at the same time. That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, God. But that's going to be very difficult on the brain. You know what? Um, I've done a whole lot of flippity floppity here. I'm going to restart. Thanks for sending me the link. Uh, I will fix that sometime later. Because that actually requires... Like, I don't want to stop the show just because... Oh, Streamlabs bot is being an idiot. 
God damn. Yep. Alright, let's focus here. Yeah! God, this is topsy turvy. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else getting sick? Because I'm certainly getting sick. Bye. Oh, I suppose I could have taken out the um the, the those planes. Shoot. All right, it's fine. I got oh, I I say I got plenty of time, but I'm also screwing up. Come on. There we go. All right, and now move into the caves. Whoosh. Whoop. Got it. So, shoot. I guess this one was to teach us that, yeah, don't get stuck with doing everything in a row. <clears throat> Legit, I guess, but... The computer lagged because... I don't know. I, I'm not gonna... You know what? I was about to say, hmm, the computer actually lagged because it was trying to calculate all of the points I just made. I know that that's not the case, though. I know it's because it was loading stuff into the memory, so I'll, I'll shut up. Anyhow. Yipe! Oh, God. That is so violent. Okie dokie. Um, so there's that. Recommendations, guys. What next map do you think I should try and tackle? Because I've got a couple options. I could just take this one because it's uh, conveniently sitting over here. Yep. Shit. Okay. Uh, Fluffy has thrown out a couple of options. Fire! Lofty Castle. Hunt, uh, Haunter Tower. Dark Hollow. Alright. So Wait, that's Dark Passage. So those are the three that you personally recommend. Haunted towers can be tricky, and that might be the reason that we should do it right now, just to get it done. Hey, Pink. But where is it? That's Lofty Castle. Haunted towers. Haunted towers. Where's haunted towers? Hold on, I need to roast some mushrooms. I do like the fact that um, Sparks just seems to automatically go and feed himself, so therefore, you know, I don't, I don't have to worry about going and picking up hearts. He just does it. Suckers. Uh, Haunted Towers is by the Shrink. Okay, there we go. The Shrink, you think? I am sh uh, here. Okay, I was about to say. I think I'm showing my age by even like mentioning the name Shrinky Dink. Whoopsies. Oh, God, you guys are posting Cursed Soda. Hold on a second. I, I need to stop the show. Pink says, I got a new computer yesterday, and Autodesk Sketchbook is amazing. Oh, very nice. You managed to get Streamlabs as well. Streamlabs is nice. It's, um, you know, it's open source based off of OBS. Okay, right. Candy Cane Soda. Honestly, it was meant to be, ew. Um, I could see that. I, I would try that. That sounds good. Oh, God. Yep, there they are. Bacon soda. Ranch dressing. Sweet corn. Pumpkin pie. Buffalo wings. Bad stuff. Bad stuff.
It is the soda curse. Okay, right. What was I doing? I messed up on uh, attempting to try and reach that area. Oh, give me a moment. <laughs> Ranch flavored soda. Yep. Where is your god now? Okay, so Haunted Towers is located over there, I'm guessing. Because I certainly don't see it up here. Yipe! Perhaps I should have uh, flown more true. So on a side note, I am... Not my fault, you put ranch uh, on not ranch food. I'm sure you could probably could find some more cursed sodas. There are probably plenty. Anyway. Ow. Sure. That's fine. That's good. There we go. The Haunted Towers. Pork chop soda. Oh, okay, it fish soda? No. I disagree with that idea entirely. Look at the link. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the shit? Is this legit? No, 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 no. Give me, give me a moment. I, I need to... Oh, oh, it says my Jones. Oh, that's what they did. Okay, I understand. I think somebody made custom labels. All right, never mind. Yeah, this is clearly custom labels. My Jones, and it's like regular flavored stuff, except, um, you know, here, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and just show this on the uh, the stream, because why the hell not? Also, thank you very much, Katek, for following. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Also, let me collapse some of these windows. Holy crap. I have, like, no room to be able to see the stream window. Okay, yeah, so here, let, let's go ahead and take a look at all this mess, eh? Coca-Cola. Oh, shut the hell up. Uh, yeah, it looks like they just put, like, a custom picture on the inside of it. Because uh, that is something that you are capable of doing on their website. So, all right. The berry uh, lemonade soda is the diamond. Cream soda is iron brew. Okay. Ha ha ha. What is that? Foo-foo? Foo-foo berry soda? That's pork chops for some reason. Okay. Um, orange cream soda? I, I do not get why that's... I don't know. You know, come to think of it, I just kind of just want to try a pumpkin soda. Just because that sounds really stupid and creepy. Apparently fish is apple somehow. Um, coal is cola. Alright, sure. Redstone is strawberry. I wouldn't have thought that. On it. Actually, no, now that I think about it. Stra yeah, redstone kind of looks like strawberries. So, yeah, there's that. Let me get that curse off your screen. <laughs> Jim says, yeah, I drink all these. I would at least try it, yeah. Maple Lee is back and he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> what have I returned to? Blessed. All right, so what the heck were we doing? Oh, good. We're going to deal with cursed armor, aren't we? Now it seems inactive and not attempting to kill me. Good. More cursed sodas? What the heck are you? What even is that? What, what's that flavor? I can't even... Is that literally just the flavor of the moon? What's happening there? Oh, milk soda? 
Damn it, Japan. Okay. Right. Let's get back to thinking. Oh! Well, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm guessing I need to take you out next. And how would I take... I mean, okay. Since you're metal, let's just try and do this. Or not. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Do you throw bombs? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. I, I thought I saw a bomb tossed at one point, but... Oh, you can't fight the knights without a fairy's kiss. Gotcha. Howdy. So I'm just gonna, like, keep my distance from him. Hi! Asshole. That is so strange that that's a freaking power-up. Like, out of all things that could potentially be a power-up. Kiss. Hey, friend! Howdy, fairy. Thank you, ma'am! <laughs> oh, that was a gem. I was wondering if that was... Yep. Yeah. Mm. Fluffy says, I hope this is fake, but I don't know. Um, well, it doesn't have the My Jones soda thing on it, but... Oh, wait. Turkey and gravy, pecan pie, smoked salmon, corn on the cob. Yeah, broccoli casserole. I, I think... I, yeah, I believe that they're real. Yeah. Because like I said, we were talking about the whole Thanksgiving soda thing. So at the very least, Jones has been found guilty of doing that. So yes. I'm all for strange freaking sodas. You know, look at me sipping down um, some Coke with cinnamon in it. But, you know what's funny? If I ever, if I ever like run out of um, cinnamon Coke, who wants to bet that I'm just going to go nuts one day and just start buying cans of Coke and putting my own cinnamon in them? Just like, uh, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. All right, I think I see what's uh, going on here. Chocolate chip cookie dough soda. Oh, I'd try that. Ketchup soda does exist, but it's Grandpa Joe's. Weird. Hey, jerk. I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Aha! There we go. I needed to power up. There's you. Ketchup and pickles. So oh my god! Guys! Hank said, I saw this episode of Family Guy when Peter tried to make his own Red Bull, but it almost killed him. Um, that sounds like something Family Guy would do, yes. Hey, Brian, take a look at this. I'm making my own soda. It's made out of pecans and chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, good. This again. I wonder if I can go back there and grab the kiss. I feel like that is necessary. Eat up, Sparks. Again, eat up, Sparks. What's funny is that you're eating some pecan ice cream right now. God, I could go for some ice cream. The good news... I mean, alright, the good news is that I'm getting real close to my goal weight, and once I hit my goal weight, it's literally just going to be me attempting to maintain it. And once I am in, like, the maintaining phase, I imagine that it's going to be a heck of a lot easier. Do they have sugar-free ice cream? You know, I don't trust it. It's kind of one of those things just like, if I'm going to have, if I'm going to have ice cream, I'm going to have the real article. It's kind of like getting diet soda. It's like, yeah, you could, but God, why would you? The brand you get is actually really good. Uh, what's the brand? Is it like a local store brand or is it, uh, God, I hate diet soda. Exactly. Here, hold up. I forgot to burn this guy. Of 
Corsacore. Hi. Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. So this is just common knowledge. That this isn't some weird quirk of mine. It's like, ah, yes, we enjoy the fairy booty. <laughs> so what, what kind of weird perverted dragons are you? No sugar, vanilla, Coca-Cola, so uh, you can taste the vanilla. Ooh. All right, let me try this again. Ginger, lime, diet, coke. Whoa. Sounds kind of neat. Eep! Shoot. Your dad insists on getting diet root beer, and it's the most terrible thing in the world. You hate it. Uh, I could definitely see that. And also, I'm glad that I hit that checkpoint, because holy crap. Let me tell you something that I absolutely despise. Diet cream soda. Take the blandness of cream soda and add diet. There are fairies up ahead. I figured. But I kind of want to see, like, how far I can go in before I have to uh, worry about, like, using the fairies from over there. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, I was able to take out one more dude. Hi. Like the bombs. All right, let's go find an actual fairy over here. Oh yeah, there's one. I was being a tryhard for no good reason. Yeah, I got it. Okay, anything else? I think that's fine. There's one fairy that gives you unlimited super flame for only this level. For real. Neat. What kind of strange fairy is that one? Sucker! I'll come back to collect these later. You can get a skill point here to burn a wizard hat on the building. Uh, uh, burn a wizard hat on the building? There's a wizard hat on that building? Oh, Jesus. I kind of wasn't expecting that to work. Oh, you'll know which one. Okay. Ouch. I hear a lot of people screaming. Am I terrorizing this place? I think I am. Damn it. Give me a second. Oh, hi. Lutalo. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. I love the way that the cutscenes work in this game. Like, they're so obviously... They're, also ob like, they're, they're so obviously uh, based within the 90s, you know what I mean? Oh, Jesus! Shit bag. Hi. Thank you. Oh my god! Look at all the treasure you were keeping uh, and hoarding. Okay, I feel like I need to get the, yeah, the kiss for that now. Come 
here. I'm doing this at my own pace. I like to think that I'm doing a slow run. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some people do stream like uh, speed runs. I do slow runs. I literally do the absolute last thing that you should possibly do for the sake of speed in a video game. Trying to get the lowest score possible. Oh, there was a fairy over here. Okay. Oh, now I know. Hi, friend! Hey, friends! Give me a moment. I need to get a kiss. Uh, when I went up to the stairs earlier to glide to that one corner where I found the fairy, the hat on top of there. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to try and backtrack best I can. I'm sure I'll probably find it. There's a route if you take the supercharge to get to another area to get the last dragon in this level and the unlimited super flame fairy. But that's only for this one level, isn't it? Like, I can't take that with me. And that makes me sad. Understandable, but sad. Oh, hey, can you guys, like, give me some health, please? Shoot! Hmm. I need some power. Oh, Miss Fairy! You gotta wonder, like, the game developers that come up with these kinds of mechanics. Where were their heads at? Okay. Sparks is telling me to go that direction. Okay. Sparks? Where are you pointing? Where are you pointing, buddy? Up. Okay. Hmm. Where is up? I'm going to try and go over here. I see some paths up here. I'm guessing this is what he's, you know, referring to. So this is the uh, stairs you were referring to, correct? Or was it? I don't know. Because this is definitely a staircase. Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking um, up on that rooftop over there? Oh my god. Hmm. That's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to jump, like, just right. That's the route I need to do the supercharge. Oh, what? Supercharge? So what you talking about? I have to burn it while gliding. Oh! Oh, okay. I think I got it. Scale point acquired. That is so obscure. What the? All right, cool. I know I wouldn't have thought to do that when I was a kid. All right. So, super glide. What combination of uh, things do I need to do here in order to do this super glide? Because clearly, I'm going to have to do this. And then, where do I go from here? Oh, hello. Oh. See a space up there I could possibly venture to. But how would I do it? Anyway, so, 
Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm assuming that the next place I need to head to is through here. Then after that, once I once I get here, do I need to go up this way? And then, like, leap from here? Am I at least, like, am I on the ball? <laughs> no? Okay, all right. Sparks really wants something up there. Okay. Go to that grass area. What? 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 There's a lot of gr grass here. Also, I really hate Twitch lag. Like, let me tell you. It makes me sad because I would really love to be able to, like, just get direct answers. Like, all right, hard left, you said? Hard left. Okay. Let me just check this with you guys. So, once I manage to make it to this room, through this way, which direction do I need to be taking? From here. Oh, Fluffy has sent a YouTube link that'll probably give me the answer. All right, well, then by all means, let's let's take a gander at this video real quick. Just so I got a good idea of what the heck's happening. Oh, bless you. Okay. I really love the... This, um, gaming can be fun is the channel, and they are really going, like, part by part. It's just like, okay, you start here, then you go here, you break this, then you do this. Okay. So through there, through there, through there. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. Oh, okay, then the opposite direction. And then you run that dir- oh, God. Oh, okay. A whole lot of left turns. Gotcha. Noted. Ah, uh, okay. I think I get what you're talking about. I, I, I love how dynamic the music is. Holy crap. I've said it before, but I, I have to say it again. I know. Spyro is a kitty. Dragon kitty. Oh, right. I have to keep that hold. Uh, held. And then glide. Catro? Cairo? Spy ready? Ow. I can hear the statue from here. <laughs> I can hear it just like jostling around. Yip! Yip it! Okay. Gotta make a little tighter of a turn there. Spy ready. Okay. No time. No time. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. Done the thing. What the? Hey. Okay, fine. Konoichi Penguin. Hello. Of the Great work. <laughs> Sipping on a cup of joe, because that... All right. So... Let me see. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot! Okay, I snoozed and therefore I lose. How long did I stay, um, you know, haunted? Okay, that's the way back. Don't do that. Oh no. Ow. Ow. 
shit. Um. Damn it. Go to the dragon that I just rescued. Hear him. Uh, that doesn't heal me. Son of a bitch. Move out of the room to try it again. Oh, okay. Yipe! Yip! Yipe! Oh, you prick. Alright, gotta try that again. All right, got him, but now I am locked in here. Oh, this is said super fairy. Kind of looks like all the other fairies I've dealt with up to this point. Tanks. If only I didn't have one health. Make sure that I grab all the gems, though. Because I get the feeling I don't want to come back through here. Ah. Achievement unlocked. Scrap metal. Nice. <laughs> Just take your time. Yeah. I've gotten superpowers. I don't need to flaunt. I don't need to, like... You know, buff up. So what happens if I walk back over here? Oh, no, it just doesn't care. I gave you your power. Leave me alone. So now what? I guess I leave. Whew. Got it done. And now I gotta get out of here. What's the safest way to do so? Oh, actually, hold up. Look at all the health sitting back here. And like I said, what is the safest way of getting the heck back here? Oh, the hole in the floor, of course, son of a... Where's my brain? Don't worry about Spyro. He, he, he sometimes runs into walls. It's okay. He's a good boy. We all know it. So, it's everything. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty normal. Urf. All right, we got that taken care of. Next up, I don't even know. There's a part of me that just wants to do, like, all the frustrating things first. Done that. We got a couple more options left to go. Goodbye. Isn't a bad idea for sure. And then there's you guys. Good thing I grabbed all the gems and all that stuff before I uh, ended the stream last time, because I do not want to futz around with that today. Not, not here, anyway. Once I have the worst ones done, then I can just sit back and chillax. Until that final flight mission. And then it's just nothing but stress. So what's the next hardest one, do you guys think? I'm up for a challenge. Let's try. Let's see. Let's try. Sucker. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Uh so cartoony and doofy, I love him. Ooh. 
Lofty Castle is what Fluffy says. All right. Um, wait, Lofty Castle is located maybe here? That's Icy Flight. Never mind. Um, where was Lofty Castle? Oh, there it is. Let's do it. Fluffy says, is it just me, or does Spyro look really soft? Like, it looks like if I pet him, he would be silky smooth. Um, yeah, he doesn't look, look very scaly, that's for sure. Actually, he looks kind of clammy. I guess that makes sense, considering he's a dragon. Alright, let's begin. Want to pet him. I think everybody does. Goodbye. I don't know if that was um, necessary to do, but I was totally fine with doing it nonetheless. They do have Spyro stuffed animals. I think it'd be a crime if they didn't, honestly. Konoichi wants to hug the dragon. Yes. I mean, okay, I'd like to maybe hug this dragon. I certainly wouldn't want to hug, like, a, a legit dragon. You know? Like, it's all fun and games until you end up losing your head. <laughs> I think... Oh. Hey, devil. What are you... I think Fluffy's Boy was trying to say I'd hug all the dragons, but instead of hug, they wrote huge. <laughs> I'd huge all of the dragons. On the Xbox One in the Avatar section, you can have Spyro interact with your avatar. Really? Where are you going? I saved you! Don't I get a kiss? Eh, fine. Can't really reach that. you guys doing? Oh, I see. You have a plan. Okay. Do not fi- What the- f Jesus. That's a little mean. Ow. Okay, no, it was well warranted to kill them. Go! Is three the magic number? Yes, it is. Thank you, fairies. I guess this is as good as a kiss, maybe. Who da da? What? Oh. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Is that like a Harry Potter doll? What are you? And not the actual Harry Potter. That looks like something that would actually be in the Harry Potter universe. Don't at me there, okay? It had a wand and everything, all right? Now what? Let's see. Two chests that I can't break. I guess I'll go down here. You know, for demons, you guys are very ineffective. Ooh, Jim is currently drawing while watching. Ow! Who? You bastard! He's the tricky one. Uh, let me take a look at this. Why not? Ooh, very fancy. Is that so Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be me except a dragon sipping out of a cinnamon coke out of a straw? <laughs> uh, I love it. Bit rope. Brr. All right, so we got two dragons so far. With me. There we go. I need some fried mushrooms. And these are st 
still not budging. Unless, wait a minute. No. Got to power up for those. Again, I really wish that the uh, the chests were a little bit more defined. You know what I mean? Like, so many of the chests look very similar. Especially, like, the really shiny ones. And then, like, some of them are very specific. Some of them you need a key. Some of them you need to have superpowers for. Some of them... I don't know. I think it... Re like, I don't know. It requires, like, a little bit more separation. You know what I mean? Like, maybe separate them by color coding or something. They kind of are to an extent, but it's still, like... The rules don't really match up. Like, a metal chest doesn't necessarily mean you need, uh, you know, like, a supercharge. It just means that maybe you just need to charge into it instead of shooting fire at it. You know what I mean? All I want is just, like, a tiny bit more distinction. Goodbye. These freaking birds. Achievement unlocked, all puffed up. Not anymore. I think we've clearly shown that they are not. The chests need, that need to be charged normally uh, change to vases in two and three. Ah, good for them. Did they get that complaint like the first time that they... Um... Goodbye. I assume that was actually genuinely, like, a, a complaint for the first time. And players are just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the chest. Okay, now I... Oh, now I just kind of want to put on this filter. It's like... I don't know what I'm doing. Hello? Game programmers? Can you fix... I see a problem. I don't understand. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. Hello. All right. Okay, so let's try not to horribly disfigure ourselves here. Yee! I have already disfigured myself. Cool. Yep. This is not working right now. Hold on. Can I wuggle you? Shit! Little bit more. Oh, woo. All right, this little dragon has committed murder. And now we move on. Ooh, key. A gold key at that. I don't know if they all were gold or not, probably. Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle too. See where it takes you. I don't know what it was. I, I don't know what exactly it was about that one dragon, but he looked very fabulous. Okay. Another supercharge kind of thing. <laughs> Goofy. I committed abstract murder. <laughs> Oh, yeep. oh my freaking god! Ah, I didn't know where I was going. I think I did fairly good, all things considering. Oh, that's from my nostalgia critic video. Ah, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I see what I was supposed to be doing there. Whoopsies. I'm gonna lose all my lives just on this one stupid thing. Damn it. Ow. 
Actually, speaking of which, I actually collected a lot of lives in the uh, short period of time that I've been playing. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I was doing there either. <laughs> So, okay, I ride one, and then a second one, and then, then what they did? Oh, yuck, I killed a mime. I have not watched much of any uh, Duck Walker work in a very long time. Oh, Jesus, okay. Well, I screwed up, but give me a moment. Oops. Head straight from the second jump. Okay. All right. I jumped to that town area. Gotta say, I like parkour, but... Oh, wait a minute. You mean... Mm, go straight off the ramp into the town area. I... I just figured that there's some long haul thing that I should be doing with it. That's that's my problem. Son of a bitch. <sighs> All right. I'll get it eventually. Like I said, I wanted to do the harder parts first. <laughs> that way, when we move to the, um, you know, the easier parts, I can just kind of coast. What is up here, anyway? Ow. Oh, wait. No, I've already been here. Oh, oh wait, no, wait, wait. Have I, have I been here? Have I not been I'm so confused. I guess I haven't been here because I'm collecting new gems. Uh, interesting. I haven't... Huh. Supposed to go right. Okay. Well, hold on. There's a whole bunch of stuff here I have not yet collected. Baruti. Thank you for releasing me. Goodbye. There we go. So, all right, we got two of the uh, fairies. I guess I need to go over there via the power of glide. That is correct. Ah, Fluffy has posted what is probably the solution to this jumping puzzle. I've, I've looked at those solutions several times. I don't know. I feel almost kind of cheap for doing it that way. I'll try it again. If I continue to have, like, stupid, ridiculous problems with it, then I'll take a look. For now, I'm just gonna collect more gems and try and recoup some of the hearts. Oh, they're all split. They're all slightly color-coded, but at the end of the day, like, they're still chests. Oh, my freaking... Look at how many bastards are out here. That's a very nice treat. Very well modeled. Hi. Ya oaf of an ogre.
Oh my god. Again. It's like watching some Saturday morning cartoon. I love it for that. There, there's just so much charm to it. There's the exit, but I don't want to take that just yet. Okay. Ooh. Have I ever done that? Have I ever tried to do that? Holy crap. I forget that has that come up at all within the span of me playing this game? Roll over. Now play dead. I forget if it ever came up, but I never did it after like it was referenced at all. Back in World 2. Oh shoot. I haven't done it nearly enough. Okay. So, next we got to go back over to, first of all, we got that chest sitting down there that I have not yet cracked. Let's go ahead and get that. Speed. All right. That path up. All right. Was there anything over here that I should pay attention to? Probably not. Back at the supercharge area. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I got two lives left. I think now would be a good time to check that video that Fluffy posted. Sure, by all means. Let's see. Okay, let's let's not be a dumb. Ah, oh, this guy's got his map on. Okay, that is correct. Okay, all right. Understood. I don't need to do anything too fancy there. I'm not sure if this is like an incredible game design mechanic thing if it, you know, if, if it's not so plainly obvious to do. Eh, but regardless, I did it. Now, next location. Um, how do I get back over there? I forget. I guess I'm going to have to take the long way back. Try to get more lives, too. Yep. Oh, don't worry, Fluffy. You, hey, you got nothing to apologize for. What are you apologizing for? Shush. Alright, I'm taking the completely wrong lifts here. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoy the jumping far too much. Here we go. 
Oh, no, I've been collecting stuff pretty passively, so giving me the answers uh, the cheapest way possible, ah, it's, it's fine. Again, I would not have looked at the YouTube video if I had not been totally cool with it. So, there's that now. Uh, how many more maps do we have left in this area? Because I know there was that one at the entrance. Um, do we have any other ones that I need to check out? I don't even remember. Ninety-nine lives cheap to get most uh, lives the cheapest way. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty cheap. That is not the right lift. Ah, shoot. Okay, fine. You have got to be shitting me. There we go. I'm impatient. Dark Hollow and Boss Jack. Alright, so Dark Hollow... So where's the boss at? I don't even know. Because there's Icy Flight. Buy the balloon. Ah, oh, okay. I'll save the boss for a little bit later. Woo Why would you make your friends vulnerable, sir? Some people just want to see the world burn. Enemies will drop orbs for me to get another life. Yep. I know, and that's why I mentioned getting lives in this game is pretty passive. If you're not just completely garbage at it, then you'll be able to recoup things pretty well. Oh. Listen to that guitar. Holy frickin'. Turtly bastard. Okay. This guy only dies temporarily. Noted. What? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, I get this. I can get blue butterflies that grant extra lives. Ooh. Nice. All right, found another dragon, buddy. Cassia. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Why are so many of the dragons, like, oddly portly? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yes. Hello, Spyro. No, I can't help you today. I'm extremely fat. That's the... T okay, so that's what the, these pug things are. All right. Or not, not pugs. I don't know. What the heck? What the heck would you call that? Like, bull hound? Whatever? I don't know my dog breeds, unfortunately. Which is stupid, because I remember owning dogs. Another dragon friend. They're, they're just kind of lining up. Thank you for releasing me. Nice shades. What? No, I want... I like your shades. I want them. Oh. Uh, poor yippee boys. Jesus. Okay. 
Can't do anything with you until later. Oh, everyone's just lining up to die today. <laughs> Azizi is blind. Hmm. Neat. Again, I still like his shades. Bakari. Hello, Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. See, now all the dragons are fluffing my ego, and I like that. Now, we got that chest sitting back there. How would one get that open? Ooh, I see how you get that open. That's going to require getting up there, though. Looks like I need to find a path. Wherever that might be. I liked a lot of gems in my destruction. Trying to look around. Is there a path that I have not taken clearly? Yeah, God. But, 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 ow! God, God, God! <laughs> ah! Spyro suffers a head concussion and drowns. The movie, the game. Ooh, hello. Is that those turtles have some terrible, terrible heartburn. That being said, what can we say about Spyro? Spyro just... He must have some massive, ridiculous indigestion going on right now. Ow. Ah, Jesus. Again, I think the dogs might be my favorite, just because of, like, just the, the angry scowl on their faces. It's like, oh, he thinks he's threatening. Look at him. nasty but i'd really hate to be trapped in crystal again don't worry the only one that's going to be trapped is him and probably you considering you are standing against him but you know <laughs> i won't judge directly out loud to your face oh darn wait this is where i came from Okay. It's so weird that it'll allow you to, like, completely end the level, like, before you collect all the things. Like, I suppose every single one of them did, but, like, this very clearly hinted at the idea that, okay, you're done. Yay! You, you can go on to the next level now. Like, there's so much extra stuff to do here. Case in point, a bundle of hounds to burn.
Oh, bossy. Okay. Whoa! Thank Jester. You for releasing me. Hooray! The king's fool has been rescued. Okay, I see what's next. Like, holy crap. So many paths that look like they end, and it's just like, here's another one. If there's anything that I would really like to do one day, I want to, like, just get an interview with, like, Tom Kenny or something. So I feel like it, I've seen a couple of his roles where I would really like to just ask some questions about, you know, the, the logistics of them. You know what I mean? Especially with SpongeBob. Just like, so, I know you probably get these questions a lot, but what's it like? Hello. And how often do you just pull that voice out out of nowhere, like at the grocery store? I must know. It, it must be extremely fun to do. You know, like... Fluffy says, oh, God, yes, but how for me? I'm in Britainland. You don't know, Tom Kenny might make a visit down to Britainland. He probably does, like, on a regular, ver like, on a regular basis, come to think of it. Like, that dude, it, it, it's kind of funny how, um, uh, we're still missing, like, five gems. Sparks, point me in the direction. Somewhere that way. Okay. Well, all right, let's see what would be the smartest path to take, then. That way. Sparks, go home, you're drunk. <laughs> Probably back at the beginning. Shoot. Anywho. No, it's just funny to hear, like, how busy, like, voice actors and people who are, like, major in Hollywood are. It's just, like, it, it's pretty obvious that, yeah, of course, if you're in a job like that, then you're probably, like, doing so much extra work just in so many different places in the world. And that's a whole lot of, like, if, if you really... When you put it into perspective is what I'm trying to say here. Like, the perspective of, oh, wow, yeah, you must be jet-lagged all the damn time. Because you have to go... You have to be in this location, and then you have to go to this location to work on this project. Because, funny enough, as, as much as you probably think that, like, a voice actor... I've looked into the uh, the profession, and apparently it's, it's not as cushy, especially if you decide to... Uh, get a per you know get a profession as a voice actor within many different jobs because there are a lot of jobs where they require you to go to their specific sound booth and if one production is located in San Diego for example or you know somewhere in LA somewhere in California and then somebody else in New York is just like all right we need you to come down to our offices and record something down here you know like as much as you would love to be able to just sit down at your own personal office and and just be like, oh, yeah, all right, I'll record my things and I'll be sending it in. There's a heck of a lot of running around that you gotta do. Like, in some capacity, it's probably a fun perfection. But, but at the same time, there's a heck of a lot of extra stuff that goes on that um, you really don't think about. Okay. Sparks, I'm gonna need you to point me in the proper direction, please. Um... Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Took me long enough. 
one spare gem just sitting in the back of the room. <laughs> Anjali off to the boss. Boy, we're almost at 10,000. We're about to hit 10 freaking thousand. Jesus! I wasn't even looking at you, you asshole! Good thing there's like little mushroom buddies. Oh! It's interesting. It heals you and it also gives you an extra life, too. Very neat. Now do the horror that is Jacques. Is it really that horrible? You asshole. You assholes. You asshole. Come on, man. Triple threat of awful. All right, I think I need to run to the back and get some mushroom buddies. Eat up, Sparks. Healthy boy. Horror as in he's terrifying. Ooh, I will be the judge of that. He don't scare me. I literally conjure fire. What could he do to harm me? Oops. I'm still laughing at, like, that one day where I just stood there and watched them, like, just gangly, like... <laughs> um, do we have any more mushrooms just sitting there? Oh, there's one. So I was gonna say, if I'm gonna be fighting the boss, and I don't know how much health is gonna be there when I get there, I'd like to be prepared. There we go. You know, it's interesting. The whole butterfly uh, health mechanic thing, it really reminds me a heck of a lot of ukulele. Which is interesting because this game came first, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the butterflies just... The mushrooms just kind of, like, grow out of nowhere. They're like real, bu um, you know, mushrooms. Just pop into existence. There's health at the boss, don't worry. Oh, okay. Very well. Where the heck was the boss? Uh, hold on, hold on. I made a wrong turn somewhere. All right, let's do this. Confronting Jacques. Come on. He's a nobody. He's nothing. Oh, yeah, so I was going to say. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, well, already we're running into some creepy freaking stuff. Uh, I was going to say, I'm interested to see what the VOD ends up looking like uh, after I'm done recording it. Come to think of it, I probably should have just restarted it before I, uh, you know, got into the bulk of the stream. Because I just swapped out entire scenes in OBS. God help me, I don't know if that's going to affect the VOD or not. I hope it doesn't. Okay, you need fire. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flying leap of death. Two dragons to save instead of one. Ooh. Neat. I love how they're just in Moo Moo's. <laughs> and I come over here and, you know, whoop their races into shape. Oh, come on, man.
You know what's weird? This music here is reminding me of like the uh, the boss music from Diddy Kong Racing a little bit. Not a crap ton, but it's like just enough. Come back, bub. Um, okay. How would I do this without hurting myself? Oh, like that. Got it. I will once again remind all of you that Spyro is actively murdering every single one of these people. This dragon is bloodthirsty, and I will hear nothing else of it. <laughs> Bad guys are not. Blood is on Spyro's hands. Oh, balls. God, I love mass genocide. <laughs> oh, damn it, Maple. An intriguing topic to me, uh, to me is I've seen a couple of, like, you know, d developer type of commentaries and things. Uh, and they talk about just, you know, like, violence in video games. Not in a sense that, oh, violence in video games should be stopped. It's more of a question of, well, do you need violence in order to make a video game? And... Oh, hi, Blue Sparks. How you doing? And it's weird because there's a lot of cases of video games that they don't even have combat. They're just... You just show up. Like, no combat ever happens at all or any form of violence, and the, the entirety of the appeal of it is just... You know... trying to go think of a good example of that um i think papers please is a pretty good example unless like there's a spot in the game where just suddenly it you know, a boss battle happens where you have to like fight your boss i don't freaking know um animal crossing yeah i mean that's a pretty good one but you hear so many times where like confrontation and conflict and, like has to have some sort of fight like, why, why ravilo hello before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. It's the uh, stitchy dragon. Huh? Look at Untitled Goose Game. Hmm. I suppose, but there could potentially be some sort of physical fighting kind of thing going on within it. Smile for me? Yeah, I I'll get that. What the heck? No, I, I do not want presents. Hey, get back here! I assume you... Yep. Or said Jacques that I'm supposed to be chasing after. Destry bastard. Right, I got him. Hi, Jacques! Hey, you jerk. Come here. Oops. Should have glided. Ace Attorney? Yeah. I guess. The, the main problem is that eventually some sort of physical violent content, like, you know, content or, you know, that, that kind of story arc ends up happening in Ace Attorney, so I, I almost don't want to count it. <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> uh, Professor Lake. There we go. There's one. Oh, 
Gotta give credit to, like... Oh. Frickin' scrub. <laughs> oh, that took nothing. Okay. Now, you guys said that there's another dragon to be uh, getting here. So let's go ahead and do that. But where? Let's see. Sparks. Therein lies more gem. Gotcha. Actually. Oh. No, I have been through here. Okay, never mind. Right, I need some some sort of a key. Head back to the beginning is uh, what Fluffy is saying. Well, hold on. I haven't even, like, gone here and taking a look at stuff here. So, I'm gonna look at that first. What? Ah, heh! Key, get it. I'll need to flame two fools. Gotcha. I'll get back there when I get back there. Like, when I run out of potential options to do, then I'll head back. I was about to do something really stupid. I'm like, hmm, too close to the edge. Shouldn't do it. I notice there's this tower sitting here. I feel like that has something to do with it. Hmm. So we got Tweedledee here. Shite. Hold up. Oh, thank you very much for the two bits, Maple. Um, because clearly we need to lower this thingy. But... How do? And also, do their timers last a long time? There's another fool nearby. Okay. All right, all right, all right. If I were a game developer, I doubt it. Could always be possible, but Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Um. um. Doubt it's a YouTube. No, I need to get over there. Hmm.
these guys do not affect that at all. Uh, Fluffy is tired. Want to be up early. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much for coming in. This has been fun so far. Hmm. So clearly I've looked at them. <laughs> but obviously... My brain did not register that those were the proper uh, ones to answer to. I doubt that I could glide from over there to over there. Um. Anything to the side here? Probably not. I'm trying to cover all my bases here. Um. to know what is what controls that what the fool is around the corner <laughs> oh the issue is that with the 10 second lag i don't know which corner it is to every corner every corner there's a fool I think the biggest fool in the room is you! Uh, Cause it doesn't look like those guys affect this at all. Oh boy. Cause it sounds like there's like a hidden fool tucked away Someone, somewhere randomly around here that I'm not even thinking about or looking around. Yeah, a fool that I haven't burned. Yes. Uh, then the question is... Where? And who? No fools up here. Insert topsy turvy song. Ah. That's a reference to Mario Party, right? Or at the very least, like, I don't know. Because I haven't heard Mario Party music in a long time, but it's usually... It almost sounds like it's mocking you. Hunchback of no Notre Dame. <laughs> I thought you were just, ins you know, misspelling it on purpose. Okay. Oh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, I understand. I get you. I was thinking there's a top there's a game in Mario Party called Topsy Turvy. That, that was my first thought. I really genuinely doubt it's up here, because why the heck would you put it up here? You guys said like back to the beginning. Right. because there is a jester that I have not burned. Ring! Fries are done. And the sad part is that sparks will only point me in the direction of gems, and that's it. Fluffy has posted a thing. What the heck is that? And where the heck is that?
Oh, wait a shit bag. Oh, I see. Okay. That's frustrating. Okay. What's more frustrating is that he's literally right under your nose. I think we have proven who the fool is today. And it's Unika for hiding here. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Get out of here, you jerk. Right. <laughs> ah. Anticlimactic as hell. At least I hit a checkpoint. What's over here? Ooh. There's a bunch of extra levels sitting over here. What? Okay. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I get a crisp 500 over here. No. All right, Sparks, point me in the direction. Oh, hello. Nuts! After Jacques head back to the artisans to do the last flight level. Oh, dear. All right. Where you at? Yeah, you asshole. Stop. Nope. I'm not done here. Dunzo. And that's all she wrote. Barf, let's head out. Where is the exit? Not down there. But I'm heading down there anyway. How many lives do I have? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Three. Great. The exit is located... Okay, not, not that way. Oh, right, it's back this direction. The frickin' jazzy organ. Oh, you again? Are you... Eh, whatever. Like I said, push over. I command you to go back into your jack-in-the-box immediately. The wind is blowing very hard where Fluffy is. Okay. Well, again, stay safe. Stay indoors. Toot.
Let us go. There we go. 10,200. All right. Now you mentioned. Now that we've done that. Howdy. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? Hold the phone. 10,000 years will give you such a crack in the neck. <clears throat> so before we get too far into this, what time are we looking at here? Oh. I'm going to give this flight a little bit of a try. But, um... Not going to guarantee we're going to be doing all of it. That fat belly dragon returns after the final boss. Neat. So it's been a while since we've, you know, hung around the old stomping grounds, so to speak. Uh, look at these, these ineffective freaking enemies in these sheep. Ah, uh, how refreshing. Okay. So, you guys mentioned that I should probably do Sunny Flight, correct? I believe that's what you guys were hinting at. Look at that curious face. Look at me go. Anyway. Maybe now that I've done a few more of these flight things, I might finally have the, uh, the skill necessary to do them. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I don't really know for sure if I've got the skill necessary to do this or not. I don't know. My main problem is that I have just, I have no idea what order I should be doing them in. Okay, one more and you're over there. Okay, what direction do these tracks lead here? Trains, planes, arches, chests, says Fluffy. Okay. Where's the final train? Where's the final train? Train! Well... And also, would it be effective to attempt to try and, like, leapfrog between them is another question. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Oh god. Come back here, you son of a I think I'm just gonna go for the arches now. Oh dear. I know I've left a train, but frankly I'll get at things when I can. Ooh, jackass. Why are you out here in the middle of nowhere? I get the feeling I went for the um, the arch in like the wrong time. Yep, definitely. 
Wouldn't follow the trains, go the opposite direction, so I would be running into the trains. Right, well, yeah, I, I know that, but, like... What I'm asking is, is it um, any more effective for me to just... Here. Alright, so let, let's go ahead and do the opposite, then, shall we? And... Oh, that was literally necess- Yeah, that, that was useless. Hold on a second. Let me try it again. Piss. Okay. No. Also, gotta love that stock splash sound effect. I got an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. It's just I really cannot miss one of my shots here. Uh, yeah, okay. I was debating for a second, but I'm back. That's my opportunity there. Got two. Ah, God. God damn it! Asshole! All right. Come on. Got a good rhythm going. Let's just keep it up. But then after all this, I need to get chests. I don't even know where all the chests are. <laughs> okay. Okay, snag that one. Ah. Yes. Three more, three more. One more. Okay, now find the arches. Technically, I should be taking a look at where the trains are, but uh, I'll, I'll try and look for the train as I'm trying to get the arches. Oh, God. I still... Fluffy says I'd stick with one thing at a time. Shit! I don't know. I just, I don't feel like doing it one at a time would be a good idea. And I also, I get this impression that if I can do it properly, I think... The emotion, the most efficient thing would be this, and then just blast some planes. My main issue is that I, I need to not get stuck on like chasing after the planes because if I do, then I'm just going to be spending all my time flying in the air trying to get them. Thank you very much for the uh, two bits, Maple. By the way. And the Corgos. I should mention the Corgos. Hold on. I did that wrong. I want to retry this. It 
so weird that the lightning doesn't hurt you. Damn it. Oh my god, okay, come on. Oh my frick, okay. Wow, nope, drown. Those planes are assholes. Ugh. Like, really, I gotta do a good job and hit them, like, sequentially. Can I charge on the tracks? Um, probably. Maybe. I don't know. You're messed up. Ah. I'm out of cinnamon coke. Let's do this. Apparently, no, I can't charge on the tracks. I probably could, but it probably wouldn't do me any uh, any good. All right. Ah, shit. Once again, I'm chasing after them more than running into them, and that's not helpful. I love how, like, it's the exact same type of melody as the Spyro theme, except they've completely, like, recomposed the notes. But it's the same rhythm. Do, 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 do. All right. So, there's Barrel Boy. Duh. Okay. Now the chests. Oopsies. Ugh. Okay, I don't even know where the chests are, and that's going to be a major problem. Like, I know there's one. Are they all within a cave? Or, like, or like a ca cavernous area? You can apparently charge on the tracks in... Jesus! Oh. Not bad, not bad. First chest leads you to the rest of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe I should just bend inward and. Oh god. Oh, I see. But now I gotta get the heck out of here and find that train. Please make the train, like, literally right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I hear it! Oh. Good night! <laughs> we done! Ooh, I, I knew that if I just followed the track the opposite direction, I'd hit it. Well, woo! All right, we're up to uh, 10,500. Very nice. So, I guess the next time that we start this up, we're going to be diving into Nasty Nork's domain, so to speak. What are you doing with that gem? Oh. Nothing. Okay, that frickin'. 
Just nasty's world to go, and we're going to be finishing up this game. All right. Um. Oh God. Please remind me again. Where the heck is the uh, the balloon here? I think it's through here. Yes, it is. Hello. All right, let's head out to Nasty's World. I don't think I'm actually going to pick up everything in Nasty's World just yet, because I, I'm guessing that there's probably a whole lot of gems to collect once you reach Nasty's World, like, main entrance area. Two stages, one boss, and one bonus level. Woohoo! And so far, I've been doing a pretty good job at just picking up everything, so... Nice. All right, touchdown. Whoa. Fancy. Rats. Cool. We're rats. We're rats. We're the rats. Ray and night, we stop at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the... Sorry, I, I, I got some germa stuck in my brain. Okay, dokie. Um, this is a very small area, actually. Like, where's the rest of the gem? Are, are the gems literally all just... Eat a lip? Uh, no. No, it's fine. I'm just... Oh, guard! Whoopsies. Are all the gems just here? Give me a quick moment. I'm curious. Because it says 200, but it doesn't look like there are 200 gems sitting around here. Does this dragon hold my treasures? <laughs> my little buddy here says so. Uh, hmm. Maybe, okay. So does this place open up as we go to locations and, like, complete them? That's what I'm sort of getting here. Like, I go here, and then we go over there, and then we go over there, and then we go over there. Right. Well, let's talk to you. Delbin. world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Very well. Goodbye, mystery painter man. Very well. Well, I've pretty much done everything that I can here until I actually go into a location. So, I guess that is pretty much all of it. I did free him. Yeah, I distinctly remember this painter. What the heck? Also, I freed several painters. These are very artistic dragons. Okay, Smokey. Let's just go ahead and uh, end the stream for tonight. So thanks everybody who came out to the stream. Especially thank you very much to people who did any kind of random donations or... Oh, God. Like, uh, again, I... The, um... The sus subscriptions and resubs and all that. Um, Jesus. <laughs> Y'all don't need to be sending me any kind of subscriptions or money things, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Jesus Christ, what a, what a meme. It's kind of interesting to think that, like, I don't know, depending on whether or not I get any bigger, I could potentially add some extra emotes to the, uh, to the pile of, you know, potential emotes you could use in the stream, and not just the ones that you uh, create using the, uh, the channel points. Which... That's fun and creative and one thing, but, like, you know, I'm sure that a lot of you probably want to get some other stuff aside from Bitsmug. <clears throat> but, anyways, uh, like I said, I am, so, I am so not worth that money. Come on, man. I'm just a silly man with a microphone on the internet. There are many silly men on the microphone, like, you know, on a microphone on the internet. A tons of them. Anyways, so the stream schedule, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Some more games that I've got lined up to do. Um, I'm thinking Wednesday I want to do a little bit more Hollow Knight just because I'm having a lot of fun with that. And like I said, the last time that I streamed, um, we're pretty much done with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney and the Ace Attorney series in general at the moment. And we're going to be diving into something else, and I think it's going to be very nice and refreshing for me, at the very least. 
But um, we're, we're going to see once we dive into it. Okay, I'm going to take off now and go make myself um, something to munch. Again, thank you very much for coming out. See you next time.